Hi, my name is Clinton, and I'm going to be walking you through the installation of the Grimspeed 2015 WRX and STI top mount intercooler and splitter. First step in this process is to remove the two bolts that hold on the PCV hose to the stock intercooler. Now we need to remove the PCV hose. You can do this one of two ways. By either cutting the metal OEM clamps or cutting the OEM rubber hose as close to the PCV piping as possible. In this case, we do not plan on reusing the PCV hose, so we opted to cut it. Now let's remove the bolts for the blow-off valve. There are bolts on each side of the factory intercooler that we need to remove in order to pull the intercooler out. Now we can loosen the factory screw clamps. Take a flathead screwdriver and gently pry around the rubber coupler in order to loosen it. You'll most likely have to do the same for the bottom coupler. Once both these fittings are loose, you'll be able to pull the inner cooler out. For an easier installation, we'll need to loosen the bracket that the intercooler is going to bolt to. To install your new Grimspeed intercooler, we're going to have to reuse parts from your factory one. Let's start by removing the white pipe. We also need to reuse the rubber grommets from the factory intercooler. We need to remove the gasket material from the white pipe. Carefully, use a razor to cut the material off. Make sure to scrape off all the leftover gasket. This will ensure that the new gasket is able to seal properly. Now let's install the rubber grommets in the brackets on the new intercooler. Now let's bolt the Y pipe to the new Grimspeed intercooler. Your kit should include two new gaskets.
Your kit should come with a new rubber hose. This hose will replace the PCV hose that we cut out. Run this hose so it'll lay underneath the intercooler when we install it. Once the intercooler is in place, thread the bolts in on each side. Now we can tighten the hose clamps. At this point, let's reinstall the blow-off valve using the gasket that was included in the kit. Included in your kit, you have two different sets of couplers, a T-coupler and a straight coupler. Use these fittings to join the two PCV hoses together. You may have to trim the hose to get it to fit properly. Measure twice before you make your cut. Congratulations, you just installed your Grimspeed intercooler. To start off the installation of the Grimspeed splitter, we will have to install the rubber gasket that is included in the kit. There are three different lengths of rubber gasket included, one long piece and two shorter ones. The shortest gasket goes on the edge opposite the Grimspeed logo. The longest gasket goes around the outer edge of the splitter. It is important that you start at the top middle, working your way around, getting the gasket as tight as possible to the side of the splitter. If you have the gasket installed correctly, you should see little to no gap. You may have to do this a couple times in order to get it right. 
Next, we have to remove the factory rubber splitter. To do this, pull the rubber material over the round fasteners. Now let's remove the fasteners using a wire cutter. We used a cardboard box to make sure that none of the fasteners fell into the engine bay. Now we'll remove the bolts on each side of the intercooler. and place the splitter on top. The last rubber gasket mounts on the back side of the hood duct. And now the installation of your top mount intercooler and splitter is complete.